Okay, the multiplier effect is the cornerstone of Keynesian economics since it shows us just how great the impact of that $1 billion government spending project is in kickstarting the economy. So like a boulder at the top of a hill, the initial push can lead to a monumental movement. In the real world, however, things aren't so peachy. One big limitation of the multiplier is that part of the increase in aggregate expenditure or aggregate or national income may manifest itself in higher prices instead of higher output. In the AE model, we've assumed a constant general price level. This means the, eco the economy is operating on the Keynesian range. Now, this isn't true for most economies in reality. And when the economy is operating close to full employment, increasing demand is just going to cause inflation. Now, additionally, it takes a lot of time for the multiplier process to work. Each round of spending may take months, so only the effects of the first few rounds of the multiplier may be observable in the short term. And finally, every country has a different multiplier uh, value depending on its marginal propensity to withdraw. Forced saving schemes like CPF in Singapore contribute to our high marginal propensity to save, and this is exacerbated by the Asian mentality to save for a rainy day. And moreover, our lack of natural resources mean that we are very dependent on imports, increasing our marginal propensity to import. As a result, Singapore's multiplier is very small, making it much more difficult to increase national income through demand management tools like fiscal and monetary policy.